Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, moving on to another word problem dealing with quadratics. It's going to be another max min word problem. So a rectangular garden is to be enclosed by 100 meters of fencing. One of the sides of the garden is bounded by the house. And we have to find the dimensions of the fencing that's going to maximize the area. So let's start off with a quick diagram so you can visually see what's happening. So let's say that this is the side of a house probably the back of the house where the garden is going to be. And then what's going to happen is there's going to be fencing right here. Okay, so this thick line over here represents like a wall of the house and here's the garden and then the rest of it, it's going to be bounded by the fencing and it's a rectangular garden. So we know that this side and this side are going to have the same length. So let's introduce some variables. We'll go X and X. And then this side is going to have a certain length. Let's say it is Y over here. So this is the only fencing that is going on. So we're told that we have 100 meters of fencing. So that's what we're constrained to. That's our constraint. And so with these variables that we introduce here, we can create an equation for that 100 meters. So it's basically going to be X plus X plus Y. So 2X plus Y is going to equal 100 like that. That is our constraint right there. And we're trying to find the maximum area. So because this is a rectangular garden, what's the area of this going to be? Well, it's going to just be the length times the width or X times Y. Let's put it in alphabetical order like that. So this is where we're trying to maximize problem here. It's in terms of two variables right now. And so we want to make it in terms of one and we could use the constraint to do that. Now we could isolate for the X or the Y, but because the Y is already by itself here, I feel like it's easiest to isolate for that. So let's bring the 2X over. We'll have Y equals 100 minus 2X like that. And then we could take this expression, plug it in for Y. We'd end up with A equaling X times 100 minus 2x like that. Uh, so here we'd end up with 100x minus 2x squared if we expand it. And so notice now we have the area in terms of just the width, just in terms of x, just in terms of one variable. And the relationship uh, is a quadratic, as you could see over here. And then we could test this relationship out. So let's, uh, let's write this over here. What we could do is we can maybe try just a random case. So let's say we let X be, uh, I don't know, let's say we let X equal 40. Now if X is 40, that means we're going to have 40 over here, we're going to have 40 over here. 40 meters, 40 meters. So what's this going to have to be? Well, the fencing has to add up to 100. So then that would be, this would end up being 20. The Y value would be 20, right? And so what would the area be in that case? It would just be 40 times 20, which would give us 800 like that. And so let's see if we plug in 40 for X over here, let's see if we get that same area of 800. So we'd end up with negative 2, 40 squared plus 100 times 40, which would give us negative 2, 1,600 plus 400. No, sorry, this would be um, 4,000, my bad. Right, so we'll have negative 3,200 plus 4,000, which indeed does give us that area of 800. Okay, and it's nice here because now we have the area in terms of one variable, and it checks out with the check that we made, and you can do any combinations, and it's going to work out. So what we want to do now is we want to find the maximum area, what combination or what value of X would give us the maximum area. And notice we can find the maximum because this is a quadratic. 
the leading coefficient's negative, so we know this is going to be a quadratic that opens down, and so the vertex is going to be a maximum point. We're going to get a maximum area over here. Question is, what x value is going to give us that maximum area? And what we can do, different ways we could find the maximum of this quadratic. Let's do two ways. So we could factor it. We could also complete the square, put it in vertex form. I'm going to start off with completing the square. So what we would do, we take out the negative 2, and we'd be left with x squared um, minus 50x, like that. And then we're going to take negative 50 divided by 2 and square it. So that would be negative 25. We're going to square it. That would give us 625. So we'd end up with negative 2, x squared minus 50x plus 625 minus 625, like that. And then we take out the negative 625, multiply it by negative 2, x squared minus 50x plus 625. And then negative 625 times 2 would give us positive 1250. And then this here is going to be a perfect square trinomial. It's going to factor into x minus 25. That's going to be squared. Then we're going to get plus 1250 like that. So let me write that over here. Um, the vertex form of this, the exact same quadratic, ends up being that right there. And what's nice with the vertex form, well, we can get the coordinates of the vertex, which is going to be 25 and 1250, like that. And then we could test that. So what it's saying is that at an x value of 25, if x is 25, the area is going to be 1250. Well, we could test that as well, doing it manually. So let's say x is 25 over here. So that means this is going to be 25. That means this is going to be 25. So then what is the y value going to be? Well, we got 25, 25, which is 50, has to be 100 meters of fencing in total. We get y to be 50. And then what is 50 times 25? Well, notice that that is indeed going to give us 1250. Right? So even when we manually check it, we could be pretty confident that that is the correct coordinate. Right, And so we're pretty much done at this point. These are the dimensions that are going to maximize the area. Now I mentioned also that if you want to find the vertex, you could also factor this. So we could take out a negative 2x and we'd be left with x minus 50. And from here, you could tell what are the two intercepts. Well, 0 and 50. So we end up like that. And then the vertex is going to be in the middle of the intercept. So we know the vertex is going to have an x value of 25. And then we could plug in 25 into the original um, equation, or we could plug it in here as well. It doesn't matter. We're just still going to get that 1250 either way, right? So there's multiple ways to find this vertex. We've been mostly in this section focusing on completing the square. So I did want to definitely convert it to vertex form, but just want to show you that it works out whichever way you do it, right? So different area combinations you can get depending on what value of x you choose, like we chose an x value before, what was it? I think it was 40, right? If we chose an x value of 40, then we know the y value would be 20. 40 times 20 would give us 800. So we'd have a coordinate here of 40 and 800. But notice that 800 is less than 1250, right? We want the maximum area. So the maximum area ends up being 1250 centimeters squared and the dimensions that are going to provide that maximum area is if x is 25 centimeters, if this side is 25 centimeters, and then the y is 50 centimeters.